Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We did a vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Fine. We're gonna go get some pumpkin spice latte. What is it? It's fall time at Starbucks. What? We got you a chocolate croissant. What do you eat? Yeah, it's gonna be so delicious. Starbucks for an apple drink and a pumpkin drink. I think we point this out often, but this is right next to our Starbucks. This is the first apartment Sarah and I ever lived in after we got married in 2015. They added this cool new love mural to this side. That door right there is where the Fab Five 207 started. We took many uh, Disney Bound Challenge March photos right in this parking lot. And Sarah got an apple, caramel, Spice. Apple, apple I got spice. some pumpkin flavor in Ooh. it. This feels like we should put on Gilmore Girls. Tastes like fall? Uh oh. Evie's gonna stop. Oh no. Does it taste like fall? I have to eat a small one. It's so sweet but so good. And James has got a croissant. <laughs> oh gosh, get your hand. All right, Jamesy is up from a nap. He had a good nap. Evie's still having her nap in the corner there. Sarah and Teddy are napping because they had a rough night. Where are we going? I'm almost about done with work. I got like 15 more minutes. And we'll see where the night takes us. Oh gosh. <laughs> Where did Jamesy go? <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Where did Jamesy go? <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Hello friends, sorry I didn't vlog, but me and James went to his favorite place. And you guys know what that is, Jewel. Um, we didn't have it in us to go grocery shopping and we were low on some dinner options. So me and James just took a little stroll over there, picked up like one of like the bag dinner of um, chicken, PF Ching chicken, and then some pot stickers and, so I, and got some rice. So I cooked all that up and it looks delicious and smells delicious. I'm gonna go with my friends, we're gonna eat dinner. It's already late, it's already past seven. Um, so we're gonna eat dinner, probably hang out, put the kids to bed. I have to go on a four mile run. Um, so today's vlog, don't know if it'll be a one putter or two putter because um, the day just got behind us. I, I've been working, been busy, but like a good kind of busy. Kids have been active, but like a good kind of active. But it's not that that results in a tired mom and dad. But it's the best kind of tired, right? So here is the rice and the chicken, the pot stickers. I think I did like the best job I ever did at steaming them. There we got James's plates, looking delicious. Mm -hmm. Do the chicken dance, hey. <laughs> Jamesy dances after every bite. Oh, this is mine. What? Oh. A little dip a dip a. Mmm. So good? Yeah. <laughs> Safe to say, Jamesy loved it. And we listened to the bluey vinyl during dinner. He Are you saying, well done? He's saying bye to Eve. <laughs> Eve won't stop bugging us. She has big head. Does he have red hair? I don't know. Can you see himself? Yeah. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah, ah. ah ooh. Abu <laughs> 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 
Oh, who is that? Sticker from the dentist. Good morning, we're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. They put Coco Melon on. Just getting a little teeth checkup this morning. Got a sleepy babe over here. And a sleepy babe over here. He's wearing the same thing he had on yesterday. And this and this little babe survived the dentist. Everybody's kind of had their own <laughs> trials today out of those three. Um, like I said, James was at the dentist today, just a normal checkup. We did get a little bit of um, like a topical ointment to put on his teeth to help his enamel. We had, um, he had a cavity on his front tooth, like on the actual front and he had it fixed before. Um, and she's really, the dentist is really happy with how it looks. And we're just gonna keep it up. It's great. He doesn't go to bed with milk anymore. Um, so all good things there. However, not fun. <laughs> not, not fun for a, a one-year-old. He's also, he's moving the table. Um, he's also getting his two-year-old molars. So that makes, that makes sense of a lot of his just, like chewiness and a little bit of ir irritability lately. Evie, we noticed her eyes were kind of looking a little strange, which um, just kind of puts us in a worried state. And so the vet didn't have an opening for a while. So I sent a picture of them. They just kind of look a little foggy, but only in certain lights. Um, so called the vet, waiting to hear back about that. And then Teddy has just been kind of having some sleeping troubles lately. I feel like we were very pampered with both our kids when they were teeny tiny. Um, and just recently Teddy's kind of been having issues transferring. He just is being like preferred to be held. Um, I am not, I'm a really heavy sleeper as is Peter. And so in order for us to get sleep, we've always um, prioritized him sleeping in a bassinet separate from us because we are we know that that's the safest for us and so we're just a lot of a, a lot of awake in the middle of the night time so as usual we have bluey on boosting our spirits giving ourselves grace all three of our our little ones are needing some extra love today so we're gonna give it and we're gonna get through <laughs> the I have to go excitement I'm just minding my business scrolling relaxing with Teddy James is napping and I'm scrolling and I see a story from Disney Parks oh. of phantasmic music announcement that rehearsals have begun that means an announcement of a start date can be any time we're literally like sh as the kids say shook I have goosebumps I have a lump in my throat Peter just point out Fantasmic has literally not performed since our children have been born it is just the week of no sleep. Mm -hmm. That child really didn't have a nap. Huh? Yeah. 
on the walk? He napped earlier and he napped on the walk. This child slept for like an hour. And we're freaking out about Phantasma coming back. Want some spice wafer cookies? Want some spice wafer cookies? Peter immediately just needed to go and get a treat. <laughs> it's, it's the end of nose by November. November? It's the end of... Open. It's the end of no spend August. <laughs> Peter put a water bottle in Jamesy's back, but I realized they're wearing the same outfit. Twins. This little baby is now napping. Also, I apologize for any of my hair you've seen in the vlog. My postpartum hair loss is so bad this time. Did we book park reservations for Hollywood Studios for every Friday for the next five weeks? Yes. Don't worry, we will cancel them if, we're, if there's no announcement. It's gotta do some coloring. But just in case, cause we're gonna, we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go, so it's no surprise when it happens. The current idea, a lot of, a lot of things have to happen. Thank you. It's gotta come back one, two. I have like really zoomed in on you. <laughs> there we go. It's gotta come back one. To hopefully not outrageously priced airline tickets for a Friday to Sunday flight. Three HHN tickets are available for the Saturday night that we're there. Four, I can find friends that are going to be at HHN so don't go alone. Five, cry. I am. I said we were like literally shook, as the kids say. You've never even seen Phantasmic. I feel like this isn't right. He's watched it on YouTube. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. So the boys went to the playground. I'm sure Peter will be vlogging. Um, but this child is like asleep asleep. And even though like Peter had said earlier that he didn't really nap, he did, but just like minimally. And yeah, I think that this will, this, this just needs to happen. So I always get a little FOMO when they go out on adventures by themselves, but this will be, this will be good for this one. And me. Jamesy wants to go with Peter on his run. Oh gosh. I got Teddy in the car, in the carrier. <laughs> I'm thinking he's having some tummy troubles and that might have to do with like how he's been crying in the middle of the night. And I feel like in the carrier, it always gets like good burps out. So that's what I'm hoping for, for this strategy. And then my hands are free to play with James. Oh, nice. Shoes for hands. When your heart is conflicted about what season it is. I'm sorry, honey. We're gonna we're gonna stay home. Okay. Has your human been up to no good today? You put up a. I know, Daddy went outside. You put up a very good argument. Oh gosh. this beautiful view. I, I was trying to set a goal that I didn't quite get. I got started my run during golden hour. And when I tell you the skyline, the most beautiful skyline in the world, somehow looks even more beautiful. My goal was to get to the turnaround point before golden hour is over to show you guys. But alas, I missed it. I'll get it at a different time, but this is a beautiful damn skyline if I do say so myself. There's just no other way to put it. Sorry for the profanity, but in times, instances in life, it is justified. Look at how sweaty I am. It's a bit humid today in Chicago. If you didn't know, Chicago gets humid. Uh, doing an eight miler today, pretty far for what I have been doing, but I feel good in the legs. Um, call my buddy Steve from Tampa if you know about that guy. Was talking to him during the first two miles about theories and speculation of the return of Phantasmic after the posting early today on Disney social media. 
Um, so that ate at my first two miles. And I'm just jamming out to some music now. So I'm gonna turn around, go back to my neighborhood, close out these last four miles for a nice eight mile midday run. Gotta get ready for 18 on Sunday. Wow, 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 wow. Did we have a better day today? We did, we did. Guys, I did it. I ended up taking the boys outside by myself on a walk at night. I feel like a lot of like a saying it's been a trying time has to do with my anxiety level and I don't know I just I told myself I could do it I got up the courage we just did a little loop around our block we stopped for every airplane we watched people move it was a really good walk I'm so happy I did it and I could tell it really made James happy and Teddy was happy the whole time too. So this is just an entry in the journal of overcoming that anxious feeling, even if something as simple as a walk. Um, definitely has not been the case for me um, recently. So it felt good. And Teddy, Teddy rolled over and I missed it again came out from putting james down and saw this drew sims video which i heard about from currently hannah i've never watched but he's a jeep camper so he's in a beautiful scenic snowy area sarah kind of cleaned up most of the area so i cleaned up some of the toys and rock and markers but look who's over here just cozy as could be it's late oh i forgot to even tell you you didn't see bike the drive that's the speaker. That was the triathlon. Whoa. Yeah. I've been seeing all these, it's like I follow these Instagram um, accounts to like know what's going on in the city every weekend. And Bike the Drive is this weekend. Well, show me. It is late. I got Evie's appointment in the morning. I did my eight mile run. Yeah. It's been a while since I did like a more than six mile long, not long one. I'm proud of you. I did not do the Peloton, but momming was plenty of cardio. <laughs> yep. And I think we talked about like it's been a bit of a trying week yep. for our parents' side of the world. Yeah. But I'll do my best to hop on tomorrow. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.